Your Hampshire Controls Airflow Monitor is a single probe instrument that detects when the airflow rate in your duct system drops below an acceptable level, which you preset according to your application's requirements. If the monitor detects that the airflow rate in your duct system falls below your preset level, which we will call the trip point, a yellow warning light will illuminate. If the monitor detects that the airflow rate falls below the trip point for six consecutive seconds, the monitor will enter its alarm mode. The alarm mode provides both audio and visual alerts. The monitor will remain in alarm mode until the airflow returns to an acceptable rate of flow. The mute button is provided on the monitor which, when pressed, will silence the audible portion of the alarm for five minutes. Your monitor also provides a relay contact switch output that allows the monitor to activate remote devices in response to an alarm condition. The adjust control on the front of the panel allows you to set the monitor's airflow trip point. Two standard versions of the airflow monitor are available. The high range version detects flow rates in the range of 500 to 2500 feet per minute. The low range version detects flow rates in the range of 50 to 500 feet per minute. The airflow monitor is intended for use at normal room temperature typically 18 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius. Contact Hampshire Controls Corporation if you require a custom monitor which operates within a different range of temperatures or airflow rates. First, you must provide an access hole in your ductwork, which allows the monitor's probe to sit within the center of the duct's air system. An adjustable depth stop collar is provided with the probe to allow accurate centering of the probe tip in the duct. Measure and set the depth stop collar before inserting the probe into the duct. Align the probe within the duct such that the air stream will pass directly through the slot in the end of the probe. The probe has a marking visible outside the duct to assist with aligning the probe to the air stream in the duct. A compression fitting with a suitable airtight seal is recommended for holding the probe securely in place. After the probe has been positioned in the air stream correctly, securely tighten the compression fitting to prevent the air from leaking out into the duct system between the fitting and the probe. Try to prevent the probe from changing its position significantly as the fitting is tightened. Failure to install the probe properly will result in an inaccurate reading of the airflow rate. After the probe has been correctly inserted into the duct, plug the connector jack from the end of the probe's cable to the side of the monitor. To power your monitor, plug the power conductor from the included 12 volt power supply into the side of the airflow monitor. Next. Plug the power supply into a standard 120 volt outlet. The green power light signals that the power is supplied to the unit. Upon power up, the green light will blink and the red, yellow, and blue lights will illuminate continuously for approximately 20 seconds as the internal probe element warms up. When the initial warm up period is complete, the monitor is ready to detect airflow through your duct system. Under acceptable airflow rates, only the green light will be lit which indicates that the monitor has power and that the airflow within the duct is above the trip point level. When setting the airflow monitor's trip point, you must first adjust the airflow through your duct system to the lowest flow rate which you consider acceptable for your particular application. Next, use a small flathead screwdriver to rotate the adjust control to the correct trip point setting in the following manner. If the yellow warning light is presently off, rotate the adjustment control counterclockwise until the yellow light illuminates and then very slowly rotate the adjustment clockwise until the light just goes off again. Conversely, if the yellow is presently on, rotate the adjustment control very slowly clockwise until the yellow light just goes out. In either case, the ultimate goal in correctly setting the monitor's trip point is to set the adjustment control such that the yellow warning light just goes off with your duct system set at the lowest acceptable flow rate. If at any time during the setup the alarm sounds, 
You may press and hold the mute button to silence the alarm until you have finalized your correct setting. Now that your airflow monitor's trip point has been correctly set, if the airflow rate in your duct system falls below the alarm trip point, the yellow warning light will activate. The unit will go into alarm mode if a low airflow condition exists for at least six consecutive seconds. The alarm condition is indicated by the red flashing alarm light accompanied by the audible buzzer and the switching of the alarm's relay contacts. At any time while in alarm mode, the audible alarm can be muted for five minutes by pressing the mute button. While muted, the blue light will blink, indicating that the monitor is presently muted. Operation will return to normal when the airflow rate increases to a value greater than the alarm trip point. The monitor's relay contacts allow you to control additional equipment in response to an alarm condition. The relay is a single pole double throw switch. The relay switch designation is shown on a sticker that has been affixed to the back of your monitor in a schematic representation. The striped wires may be inserted into the switch connector and locked in places shown. The normally closed relay contact position, labeled as NC on the monitor, and the common relay contact position, labeled simply as C on the monitor, will close, or in other words, will become connected together when an alarm condition exists. As an example, here you can see that when connected to the NC and C relay contacts, the meter shows continuity when the monitor enters its alarm mode. Conversely, the normally open contact position labeled as NO on the monitor and the common contact position labeled as C on the monitor will open when an alarm condition exists. Here you can see that when connected to the NO and C contacts, the meter shows continuity when the monitor is not in alarm mode. Choose the configuration that best suits your external alarm application. The relay rating is 30 volts at 1 amp. Exceeding the rating can damage the relay contacts. Also keep in mind that inductive loads may produce transients that can exceed the contact rating and may also result in relay damage. Need more help? Contact us at www.hampshirecontrols.com or use our toll-free number 866-496-9422. Thank you for watching.